Um, there's a condition most fishermen need to be aware of. It's called barotrauma or barometric trauma. And, and it's caused by fish being brought up from, from deep underwater up to the surface. And there's a condition in humans, we call it the bends. If you're skin diving and you're breathing with a scuba tank and you come up too fast, uh, the nitrogen in your blood forms bubbles and it is lethal. Uh, in order for a human to be uh, treated for, for it, they either have to be taken back down to deep water and breathe through a scuba tank and come up at a graduated uh, process, or fish in it are the same way. You need to bring fish up very slowly. In fact, I was watching a program. There was a, there's a guy on the Great Barrier Reef in Australia that dives to 250 feet and catches uh, species of fish that have never before been seen in aquariums. It takes him six hours to bring these fish to the surface so they have a chance to um, not have these nitrogen bubbles accumulate in their butt, blood and kill them. When we are fishing, be it in Green Lake or Green Bay or any of the deeper waters, um, the same thing happens. If you catch a walleye in water that's much more than 25 feet deep, and you bring it to the surface and release it, there's a good chance that it will not survive. Um, this is not an immediate death type of, of event. Um, people that die of the bends um, have maybe a 12 hour very agonizing death if they can't get re recompressed at, at deeper water or in a, in a decompression chamber. And it's the same way with fish. Um, we know it's a fact. Uh, Dr. F uh, Ron Brook and Fred Minkowski uh, were doing a study up in Vilas County on Long Lake. Lake is about 95 feet deep. It has lake trout, it has walleyes, and it has alewives. And they were doing a, an interaction study. As part of their study, they put a radio transmitter in 11 walleyes. These um, monitored the depth, the water temperature, and the movement of the fish. Over the course of the summer, people fishing for lake trout inadvertently caught these walleyes and brought them to the surface, um, had to release them because it was a, it's a catch and release situation there. And all 11 of these fish died. They died of what's called barotrauma, B-A-R-O-T-R-A-U-M-A. -A -A. You can look it up and see what it's called. Um, the state of North Dakota issued a decree, if you will, for any angler in the state of North Dakota this past summer that caught walleyes in any water less than or greater than 25 feet to not release the fish to keep them because they are, they are going to die. So this is a, this is a situation that a lot of people don't realize, but it, it, it is a lethal uh, condition that, that fish are um, subjected to when we bring fish out of deep water.